What's good, Lotus fans? Brent Cook here. There's so much to cover in today's video. I can't wait to delve right in. But first things first, in the month of December, if you become a member of this channel and you can do so by clicking the join button down below, you will get access to all videos early and member exclusive videos just for the month of December. A thank you from me to you for all of the growth over the last year. We literally doubled in size in the year 2020, and I am so appreciative. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And the list in front of you is not actually what we're playing today. This is what I recorded with earlier tonight. And I'll be honest, that list didn't go very well or that league didn't go very well. A number of things went wrong. It's just sometimes that happens when you play Magic, right? And the idea behind this list was that it was actually somebody else's list that I made adjustments to. Somebody took the Turbo Lotus Field list that I built and they combined it with the Emergent Ultimatum list. And... They played that in a challenge and then they won it, which is pretty sweet. So I took that list and I made a couple adjustments. I brought it back a little bit closer to my list, primarily the forest in the main deck. And then we cut the brawl for a third growth spiral. Um, but the league, I lost twice to the incarnation deck. I also lost to the Selesny Angels deck. But in general, growth spiral didn't perform that well in the league. It was awkward with my mana the entire time. Uh, either I had besage you stage or basically it just didn't work. That's what it comes down to. So I am looking to make some adjustments. So the emergent ultimatum, I've been playing with this card for a little bit now, and I've noticed that I don't ever actually need omniscience in order to win. So this list didn't have it. The turbo list didn't have it. And I'm starting to think, well, if it doesn't need omniscience, is there anything else we can do with these slots? And I was brainstorming ways to possibly improve this deck when it sort of clicked. We can go back to Wish. And this list makes so much sense to me. So we're playing Mana Confluence as a red source, so that way we can Wish, which gives us a lot of flexibility, like getting a Lotus Field out of Cyborg. So we're more consistent with finding our Lotus Fields now more than ever, which is just a great thing to do. And we get to play Emergent Ultimatum alongside Wish. If you go back to the first videos that I ever recorded with Wish, I was super bummed that I couldn't play it alongside Emergent Ultimatum. It just didn't work because of Omniscience. All the lists back then were super Omniscience based. And with Omniscience, it says you can cast cards for free from your hand. Wish never puts the cards to your hand. You're casting them from uh, outside the game, aka your sideboard. So it was always a big bummer for me. Well, with the list we're playing today, that's not actually an issue. We should be able to just, you know, play this in, well, sort of battle cruise. I think it's going to be pretty simple, um, which gives us a pretty sweet win with Niv Mizzet. So you're able to wish into Niv and then Niv plus Velikid Awakening and ping your opponent to death after a pretty powerful peer into the abyss. We also have Lear, Disciple of the Drowned as a uh, emergent ultimatum target. I am so excited. Like once I finish that league and I sort of solve, or I, I don't want to say solved, but sort of realized that I could play with Wish again, I, my, the wheels started turning in my head and I was like, oh, we could play the Brotherhood's End. This gives you a really nice sweeper versus the Mono Green deck because not only does it clean up Damping Spheres and Needles and everything else, it kills Karn and their dorks if they haven't played out anything you care about yet. So I think this card could actually be really good. I could see Brotherhood's End even going up to being a two of. Yeah, I'm just really, really excited right now. Like my face might not show it, I'm sorry, but uh, I am really looking forward to playing this. All of the lists that I played for this deck over the last like two months, I feel like are finally like culminating in the list in front of you. I've been doing so much experimentation recently with Emergent Ultimatum, the Turbo Lists, and now this hybrid wish ultimatum list uh i think that this is going to be good i hope i'm not wrong we might have solved it we might have cracked lotus field combo buckle buckle in uh i'll see you in the first match but i feel like i'm forgetting something too but i don't know i'm just gonna hop on in if you have any questions feel free to post those down below or suggestions i'm open to those too thank you for watching become a member watch that league that sort of failed that will be a member exclusive uh yeah, without any further ado, I'll quit rambling. Match number one coming up.
If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. You can also show your support by becoming a member of this channel. You get sweet perks such as badges, emotes, exclusive members only content, and access to our members discord section. As you increase the tiers, there are other rewards such as shop discounts, cyborg guides, early access to videos, and even free donation decks. Click the join button down below to find out more. We also have other ways you can support us such as theepicsroom.com slash shop or submitting a donation deck via theepicsroom.com slash donation decks. That's enough for now. Let's play some magic. Match number one, we're on the draw against Eddie Winslow. We have a first turn Grazer into Valakut Awakening on turn two. I'm actually going to try this. I think that the Valakut on turn two, the dig for Lotus Field and stage is going to be just fine. Swamp. Okay. Let's play off the Grazer. Botanical Sanctum. Pass the turn. Ooh. Don't take the Valakut Awakening. Ah, uh, that's a bummer. Draw. That was a good one. Sylvan Scrying. They Fatal Plush my Grazer. Not very nice. We'll grab Lotus Field. Play it. Sacrifice the pair of Botanical Sanctum. Pass the turn. Opponent with four in hand. Murderous Rider. Sure thing. Four over pages. I don't mind that as a draw step. Next turn we can cast it the hard way. Land number four for the opponent, three cards in hand. Soren. They make a 2 3 lifelink. I don't really care a whole lot about that. Draw. Impulse. We'll play out the Besaju. I'll take one off the mana confluence. Four over pages. Untap the Lotus Field. Untap Besaju, I guess. Discard the Sylvan Scrying. We could just play this Lotus Field next turn. Does this kill creatures? It does not. They have two in hand. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to play out the Leer or not. Take a draw. Emerge an ultimatum. I think I'm going to just hope that the Leer lives. Pass the turn. They use Soren. Castle Lockthane. Three cards in hand. They did have another Murderous Rider into Gifted Aetherborn. We're still very much in this. I'm at 13. Let's play the impulse. Pour over pages. Vizier. I think we just take the pour. Play Lotus Field. Sacrifice these two. And we'll attempt to win next turn. They have six damage on board. I'm at 13. They plus the Soren again. Another Castle Lock thing, two cards still remaining. And they're getting in there. I'm at seven. Murderous Rider. Time to party. Four over pages. Untap, untap. Discard the Sylvan Scrying. Cycle the Vizier. Untap. Opponent's at 28. Let's play the Botanical Sanctum. Kind of a bummer that the Leer's dead. Here into the Abyss, floating one. We haven't used any hidden strings yet. And there was only one hidden strings there, wow. Things not looking so good for the home team. Fun and thinking pretty hard on my hidden strings here. Yes, yes, no. We will cycle Vizier, make another mana. We also have a Leer in the graveyard we can go get, or we can return the Leer that we have in the graveyard using uh, Valakut Recovery. We had another Valakut Awakening. Seven mana, we'll peer, or I'm sorry, we'll pour going up to eight mana. Untap, untap. Discard, Sylvan Scrying. Fourteen cards left in deck. Another Hidden Strings. Blue. Red. Hidden strings. Yes, yes, no. Hmm. What to do? It would honestly be easier to win at this point if I had an oracle on my board. I mean, I, I still have an, a an access to win here, but I'm trying to play around removal as well. So if we had an oracle, this would be cake. Might be worth thinking about swapping one of the nibs to an oracle. I'm going to impulse. I have two more hidden strings in here. There's one of them. Make some more red mana. 
Okay. Yes. Yes. No. We have one Balagad here. Looks like the other one's in the graveyard or in the deck. We have 13. We have 21 cards in hand, which isn't enough to beat them because of their life gain. Hmm. We have eight mana plus six is 14. So we can go Lotus Field. Or I'm sorry, we can go Wish into Niv, which is nine. We'd have five floating. So then we could play Balagat. I'm one mana short of the line I want to take here. Hmm. And I'm killing a bunch of time on the clock. Maybe I just can't afford to play around everything. One hidden strings, two hidden strings. I still have two strings in the deck. No, I have one hidden strings in the deck. I can't count. All right. I've wasted enough time. I'm just going to put Niv into play. Niv is it. Niv Mizzet has entered. I can't win with it quite yet. So let's. Hmm. I also can't Balagad back a hidden strings here because the colors don't work. So I'll tap for blue. We will cast this Valakut Awakening. Trigger. Yeah, I think that we might want a uh, an Oracle in the board. It, it used to be a lot easier because we had Brawl in the deck, but we don't anymore. Put a bunch of spells in the bottom. So without a Brawl in the deck, we might want the Oracle. That's a change that we should strongly consider making. This list was done on pure theory. It's been a while since I've played it, so can't hurt. We're going to get a bunch of triggers off the Niv Mizzet. All right, they're at 10. Cast this Hidden Strings. Yes, yes, no. Cycle the Vizier. Untap Lotus Field. They'll take one. They're at eight, and I have nine cards left in deck. Blue. Green. Let's pour over pages. This trigger, so it's really four damage. Untap, untap. Discard a land. Now they're at four. Tap for red, I guess. We will return Valkut Awakening. Give triggers, Balagad. Tap for blue, play the Valkut Awakening. We only have to put a few on the bottom now. This triggers, and we'll win game number one. This game was made a lot harder because we didn't have the Oracle. Like, I had to play into potential removal here. I don't know if that's going to be an issue throughout the league. I hope it's not, but um, Oracle might not be a bad idea. All right, no more focusing on that. We'll board in Ley Lines, board in one Niv Mizzet. This was carefully planned. Uh, I started with four Ley Line in the board, but the way that you want to board for this matchup is you want to have a main deck win condition so you don't lose to uh, Necromentia. So you board out for Grazer, you board in three Leyline, and for the games where you don't open up on Leyline, you have a backup win con in the main. Makes a lot of sense. So uh, good sideboard mapping, all that stuff. I want to keep this. I just don't think I'm supposed to. The six. We will keep this. Put a wish on the bottom. All right. I have the Eye Tyrant into Thoughtseize. Wish down. Sanctum, pass the turn. Land number two, Misery Shadow. Another Lotus Field. Pass. It's not the worst, because in theory we already have double Lotus Field set up if I don't find Thespian Stage. It just requires us drawing another land. Uh-oh. We have a Lotus Field that we can get with Wish. So now we have to find another Wish. So, typical builds of Lotus Field combo cannot win right now. We can because the Howard deck is constructed. We still have a Wish in our sideboard. Or a Lotus Field in our sideboard to get with Wish. And we get two, two, two black zombies due to the Necromentia. All right, we have some zombies. Uh, surprise, surprise, they don't attack with the Misery Shadow. Let's cast Impulse. We find the Wish. Step one, draw for turn, it's hidden strings. I don't know if we're actually supposed to 
attack with these or not. Probably not. I don't think we're ever actually racing Misery, Misery Shadow. Land number four. Liliana. That's annoying. I think we have to discard Hidden Strings. Okay. Take a draw. Valcut. Ouch. Play Wish. Lotus Field. Sacrifice the Confluence. Pass the turn. So I could attack into the Liliana. It's a tough place because I have to just sacrifice a zombie token if I make that play. And there's a chance that I want the zombie tokens in case I can find niv -Mizzet. Ooh, that's brutal. Because now the Liliana gets my Vizier. I think we've actually just lost this game. I mean, maybe if I draw exactly Thespian Stage here. They plus the Lily. They have one card in hand. Hmm. Doesn't do me much good. Play line of Sanctity. Swing at the Lily. They can block with the Shadow and Pump. They do that. So Lily goes back down to three. Graveyard Trespasser, sure thing. They remove a Vizier. Probably not the right call in my Leer deck, but that's fine. They plus Lily. And now they're getting in. And again, so we're going to take four down to 14. I need to draw a Thespian stage here. Ugh. All right, let's just go to the next one. They got me. Resubmit. Game three, we're on the play. Cannot keep that. This is interesting. Bottom the ultimatum. The wish here gives me access to Lotus Field, so I think it's worth keeping. Play the Veil Cut Pass. Hive into Thoughtseize. Goodbye, Wish. They do, in fact, take it with the Thoughtseize. Draw for turn and pulse. Good one. Swamp into Shadow. Sure thing. And pulse. Guess we're taking Nim, is it? Come on, Lotus Field. That's a bummer. Play stage. Pass the turn. Field of Ruin. That is really obnoxious. Um, yeah. Necro so both post war games, they open on Thoughtseize and a Necromentia. We still have Wish in our deck, but we don't have one. I also couldn't find my Ley Lines in 26 cards. We have three Wishes left in the deck. And I know it might seem a little bit odd here. I'm going to copy our opponent's Swamp. So by copying the Swamp, they can't feel the ruin our stage. They get in for two. Wish. Wish. Come on. This no longer gets Lotus Field. Play the Scrying. Oh, and I have the Forest in my hand so that we don't even have a target for the Field of Ruin. That's annoying. Play the Triome. Pass the turn. They play a Swamp. Shield Red. Yeah. Quite the start. Ouch. Too late. Pass the turn. They attack for six. Or a lot more. Eight damage coming in. We're at six life. Sign and blood for lethal. That's a pretty sweet play. Yeah, you got me. Okay. Zero and one. This was a rough one. Moxfield.com is the easiest way to build a Magic deck online. They support over 30 formats, including Legacy and many other Eternal formats. There are so many options to view decks the way that you want, from text view to individual cards, mana value, and even card price. There's also light mode and dark mode. My personal favorite feature is card tags. This way you can sort cards by function. Moxfield supports collection tracking, scryfall search, deckless feedback, and so much more. Follow me on Moxfield.com so you can stay updated on all of my decks. Round number two, we're on the play. Yeah, this hand's great. Keep. Sanctum, pass. Swamp again, okay. I think we play the Atawara and keep the Velikid Awakening to help dig for Thespian stage. Castle. Looks like the same deck. Maybe we'll uh, do a little bit better this time. And there it is. Okay, we're in decent shape. Pass. Lily. I think I'm going to get rid of the Valakut Awakening. 
Gifted Aetherborn gets in. Bell get recovery. Decent draw. Copy and pass the turn. Waste Knot. That's spicy. And another Waste Knot. We will discard the Bell get recovery. This triggers, they get to draw two. They're at 22 now. And they missed their attack step on accident. Tragic. Here into the abyss. Hello. Cycle Vizier. On tap. Waste Knot does trigger on cycle. Auto yield. Auto yield. Four over pages. On tap, on tap. Discard the Sanctum, I guess. They have four mana. Admittedly, I did forget about this opening up removal for them, so we'll switch phases at some point. Hidden strings, untap, untap. Yes, yes, no. Tap for black. We will now peer into the abyss. Two mana floating. Cycle of Vizier, untap our lotus field. We will now switch phases. Empty their black mana that I gave them. And now we can continue winning the game. Hidden strings. Yes, yes, no. Hidden strings again. Yes, yes, no. Tap for red mana. Play wish. Niv is it. Four over pages. Trigger. Save targets at you. Trigger. Untap, untap. We will discard. An ultimatum. No uh, mana for you this time. You can draw cards though. I'm fine with that. Tap for some more mana here. We will pour over pages once again. We do have to uh, find a Valakut Awakening in order to win this game. There's one in our graveyard that we could also battle get recovery back. Discard another ultimatum. While that's triggering, let's scroll down to see if we found it. We did. All right, they're at 14. We have 28 cards in hand. I have to imagine we uh, can kill them with this fail cut. All right, let's put some cards on the bottom. All right, so that's probably 14. I'm not going to bother counting. This triggers. And we win the game. Sweet. Once again, we'll board out Grazer. Bring in the Ley Lines. And niv it. They probably are a Shield Red deck. We likely want to bring in one March because we can use March. Actually, we can't use March the way that I want to. Hmm. We might want to change this. I didn't consider March not working off of Emergent Ultimatum. But I could petition for it. Yeah, that's probably good enough. Okay. Um. So we want to find one more card to take out. We're going to board out a battle yet. It's fine. One of mulligans, we'll join them. Like, this could have been a keep, it's just like really awkward. We actually drew a ley line for once, how about that? We just have to find land number two. Bottom of wish. Put the ley line on the table. The opponent is now thinking long and hard about their life and they concede! Maybe that's why I lost match number one. I didn't just mold the ley line. Clearly, that's the secret to this matchup. We are now one and one. Looking to make playing your favorite combo deck much easier? Look no further than the Epic Storm Mini Token Combo Pack, which is available at theepicstorm.com slash shop for $14.99. This combo token pack comes with 84 double-sided tokens. That includes our classic Storm and mana tokens as well as fan favorites such as Goblins, Squirrels, and Slime Time Live. But that's not all. We've expanded this token pack to cover a variety of formats with new tokens. Stop on by the epicstorm.com slash shop and make an easy decision to elevate your combo game. Match number three, we're on the draw. Keep, 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 keep. This hand is great. We have turn one Grazer in a stage. Turn two, we could cast Wish, but you can't play two lands. So we have to wait till turn three, but we have a turn three Wish into... Wow. How lucky am I? Grazer. Put that stage right on the battlefield. Pass the turn. So this wish went from being our tutor for Lotus Field into our payoff spell, which is pretty sweet. Draw for turn. I, I really don't want to play into Jawari Disruption or Sensor, so I'm just going to sacrifice the, our lands here and pass. 
is a charm. Discards double Prismari command. Are you actually on the uh the creativity deck? I faced that in my previous league tonight, but it wasn't playing is it charm. Javon Reef. It is. We're facing creativity once again. How about that? Draw for turn. Ooh. I think I'm supposed to save the Vizier now. Actually, no. That's not true. Because we can't... Or like, I'm not playing the Omniscience. So I'm supposed to try to impulse here to find, like, a hidden strings. Draw off the Vizier. Cat for blue. Copy. Impulse. Well, we found a Vizier anyway, so it's, like, the same thing. Pass. So now they can discard two, draw two, using the Fable of the Mirror Breaker. They choose not to discard anything. Wow. They play a land. They Fiery Impulse my Grazer. So their Shaman now brings them up. We might be in trouble here. They have three cards in hand. Draw for turn. That was a good one. We'll start off by playing the Botanical Sanctum. Cycle. Untap. Take a draw. Another Vizier. You love to see it. Cycle again. Draw off the Vizier. Balaged Recovery. Let's do blue, black, four over pages. Trying to get the black mana set up for the ultimatum. Discard this additional Lotus Field. I could also wish into Thought Distortion here. Which is a relatively safe play, except for if our opponent draws exactly um, creativity, then I lose the game. I don't believe that their deck has anything to stop me here. I'm just going to go for it. Immersion Ultimatum. We'll grab Peer, Hidden Strings, and Pour Over Pages. I have to imagine that they're not going to give me Peer into the Abyss. Okay, so hidden strings target our two lands, and then pour. All right, so this resolves on tap and tap. Discard a land, float some more mana. So much mana, hidden strings, roughly infinite mana. Yes, yes, no. So we have eight mana plus seven, so fifteen. I can wish into distortion for nine, and I have six mana available. And then I could pour up to seven, petition into uh, Leer. That'll get back a Hidden Strings. All right, let's just take this one step at a time. Play Wish. Dark Petition. We can go get Leer with this. Did I count wrong? Um, I might have, because this is only four mana. I guess we'll pour... Untap, untap, discard the Lotus Field. Here into the Abyss with 33 cards left. That was actually not very good. So now we'll do blue green. Pass the battle get getting back hidden strings. I know that this is like a convoluted line, but it plays around removal. So five mana floating now. So I could tap for six. Thought distortion them. Leer with one floating, which is just short again. Okay, better line. So if I Leer, and then they kill the Leer, I can play another Leer from my sideboard. Okay. So they would have to have two things that kill Leer, which is pretty unlikely. All right, untap. Let's Thought Distortion you. And the opponent concedes. Sweet. Get these Grazers out of here. Definitely want the Thought Distortions. Bring in at least one Niv Mizzet. Actually, these the marches are very good here. I think we just don't bring in Niv. Quick submit. March exiles their combo. So even if they do execute their combo, we can at least buy a turn for a single mana. Hmm. I don't know how good this hand actually is. We're writing a lot on this impulse. Two uncastables. I'm going to take a mulligan. This is so much better. Keep and we'll get rid of the Sylvan Scrying. Fire Bluff Canal. And they just pass. Mana Confluence will play the Sanctum past the turn. 
mountain. To pass back. Mana confluence, pass. We didn't need a second lotus field, but I'm not gonna complain. Our draw's been fairly good so far. Okay, they create a treasure token. Atawara. On their end step, let's cast impulse. Let's take the march. I know that we need a payoff spell. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, geez. Pass. They Prismari command me to deal to and make a treasure. They're trying to get me to that magical 15 mark, I believe. The creativity for one. Oh, they're on the Gear Hulk build. Okay. I have seen this build. And now they'll deal me four. I need to draw a payoff. We still have four cards in hand as well. Vizier is okay. So if I take this, I go to four and I could be dead to another one of those. Uh, I, don't, I don't remember what it's called. Magna Opus. But it's an eight mana spell. I think I'm going to risk it and just take the damage. Okay, so. We will copy stage. Or stage copy Lotus Field, I mean. Good draw. We can afford to pass back here. Because we have double march. They deal me another two with Prismari command. That might actually do it if they can uh, creativity again into Gear Hulk. And their upkeep lets march their creatures. They have four in hand. And a third Prismari command for lethal. Okay. So we know that they're not on that build so we can board out the marches they're not a, they're not on the worm build so they're less effective anyway well, i think i do want the nibs then all right let's go yes i'd like to be on the play yeah we have wish for lotus field we have stage we even have thought distortion a lot going right with this hand try on pass the opponent on six cards i can't believe they just burned me out like that uh, pretty odd. They play a coast. Play our mana confluence and pass the turn. Fire bluff canal. Play stage and pass. Spire bluff. Let's see if they let the wish resolve. Tap for red. We'll take one off the mana confluence. Play wish. Lotus field. Sacrifice the two lands. And I have every intention of casting Thought Distortion next turn. The opponent doesn't do anything on our end step. They play another coast. Six cards in hand. Play another stage. We will cycle Vizier. Actually, maybe I was supposed to play the Sanctum. An oversight on my part. Thought Distortion, because if I played Sanctum this turn, I could play Stage next turn, and I'd have enough mana to double copy Lotus Field. Ashiox Erasure. Okay. Kind of a pain in the buns. I do have a Besaju. Land number five. They have five in hand. Yeah, I definitely messed this up. Copy. Hidden Strings. See if they try to counterspell it. They don't. Okay. Hidden strings. Yes. Yes. No. Tap for green. Target the Jace's Erasure. Or I'm sorry, Ashiox Erasure. So the leaves, leaves play trigger happens. And I will get my distortion back. Up to eight mana, and we will now thought distort them. So if I had one more mana. If I had sequenced my lands correctly, I could then Hidden Strings Wish into Leer and pass, and then have a very easy win on the following turn. So we get double Fires of Victory, and they get to keep Gear Hulk two lands. Pass. The Ottawara shuts off the Leer line. They play a Sulphur Falls. They showed us a land we didn't know that they had. Oh. Hello, Niv. Play the dragon. Now we can cast this hidden strings. I imagine that our opponent Ottawara is here, but then we can replay the uh the Nimbizid anyway. Yep. 
Do we get to draw the bell again? Yes, yes, no. Replay the Niv. So their hand is Gear Hulk plus Steam Vents. Niv is home. They played the Steam Vents this time. So it's Gear Hulk plus one unknown. We'll draw if Niv miss it. Save targets, I'll let you do some yielding. Let's start off by cycling the Vizier, find out what our top card is, and then choose a path from there. Sylvan Scrying, not super helpful. Tap for green, colorless. Belegad Recovery, we'll get back Hidden Strings. I like the idea of getting Hidden Strings here because we have a draw engine in play. It is a charm. We will gladly pay two here. And they cannot Gear Hulk. They are one mana short of playing the Gear Hulk. And in strings on tap. Yes, yes, and then yes. I want to cipher onto my dragon. So now we can play Wish. Draw a card off the Niv Mizzet. Merge an ultimatum. Pretty sweet. Let's play Leer. Now we attack with a giant dragon that has a hidden strings on it. Niv Mizzet uh, gets the damage trigger. We will cast the hidden strings on tapping our lotus fields. Niv Mizzet triggers putting your opponent to six, and it's going to be cake from here. Okay. Might as well cast another hidden strings. Niv Mizzet triggers, and the opponent concedes two and one. Two matches left to go. If you're still watching, make sure to give this video a like, comment, and subscribe. While you're near the description, here's a reminder to use our affiliate links if you're going to make a purchase from Amazon, Card Hoarder, or TCG Player. Just above those affiliate links, you'll find our social channels. Make sure to join those to connect with us. Match number four on the play. Yeah. The consistency of having Wish to give you access to Lotus Field is just so nice. Tentacle Sanctum, pass the turn. And with this specific hand if our oh my god we're facing another thought seize deck uh if wish were to be discarded which is what i was going to say before the thought seize even hit the table you have veil cut awakening off of the mana confluence to help dig for another lotus field they do take wish who needs wish who needs wish den of the bugbear so they're on rakdos not mono black like the first two rounds ouch we'll take one here cast the impulse I would like a pour over pages. Yeah, I mean, the auto war is pretty tempting because our opponent is a shield red deck, but I think you're supposed to just play to your highest probability. Plus, you can still technically cast pours into shield red. Not advised, but you can do it. Fable, you got it. Now they're attacking for three. I'll go to 16. Draw for turn. Ooh, we can go for it here. Hidden strings. Yes, yes, no. Use the floating mana. We'll copy Lotus Field. Hidden strings again. Yes, yes, no. Pour over pages. Leer. We just won. Okay. Pour over pages. Untap, untap. Discard the grazer. Play another poor. All the man in the world. Untap, untap. Discard Sylvan Scrying. Play the Leer. Hidden Strings. Yes, yes, no. Oh, it's free to. Um, that was actually a slight misplay. It was free to cipher there. Pour over pages. Untap, untap. Discard another Grazer. So if we went Wish into Niv-Mizzet, we don't have one mana. We'll do red. Hidden strings. Yes, yes, yes. Put it on the Leer. So now we have enough mana to... We'd have five left over. I think that's fine. Let's cast the Wish. Niv-Mizzet is going to enter the battlefield. Four over pages. Auto yield. Save targets. Auto yield again. Now we draw. Triggers. Try to land. 
cast pour. So one of the nice things about having this wish based list is that you have access to Leer and Niv Mizzet way more often. Well, I guess the other builds don't play Niv Mizzet, but like you constantly have access to Leer, which is just one of the best things you can be doing in my opinion. Cast pour. I found that recently Pioneer Lotus Field combo plays a lot like Ad Nauseam Tendrils and Legacy, where Leer is basically just your past in flames and you have hidden strings and pours to generate advantage. Cast this pour over pages, triggers, discard. They'll go to two. We can just cycle a couple of his ears. Untap, draw. And I guess it's actually just less clicks to cast this impulse. We get game number one over Actos. Bring in the Niv, bring in Ley Lines, and the March. Get rid of Grazer. Once again, I'm going to try boarding out the Balagad. I just don't think we necessarily need it. Our list is also already playing one more mana source than most lists. So we're on 22 plus four um, modal cards between Valakut Awakening and Balagad. Most lists only play three, or they run 23 lands and two multi-phase cards. So we're on the higher edge of that already. With being a Niv-Mizzet build, we actually need to leave in double Valakut Awakening. So we have Lotus Field, which is great. We're lacking a second land on the draw. I think we can do better. Keep. I think we put Niv Mizzet back in. It's just so likely to be discarded to a Thoughtseize. Go for a Springs. Duress. Wish down. Play the Sanctum. I think I might want to keep the Ketria Triome as an action spell because our hand is all lands at the moment. So cycling that later might be a reality. They play a Mountain. Baraxa. All right. Reality changed. I'm now. Discarding the Ketria Triome, and for no reason, I'm going to take one mana off this Mana Confluence to cast Temples. Pass the turn. We play a Haunted Ridge. Go blank. Let's Impulse. Take the Mana Confluence, I guess. I was thinking about taking the Ley Line there, but if I take the Ley Line, if they don't ever see it this game, I'm giving them information about having Ley Line in my deck. So I'd prefer to keep that hidden if possible. Play the Lotus Field. We'll float mana. And I think I'm going to go search up Ottawara here. So that way we have an out to Shield Dread, but it also shuffles my deck to put Niv Mizzet back in a random place. Castle. They cannot cast Shield Dread. Ooh. That was brutal. Pass the turn. Yikes. That was rough. There she is. All right, I've seen enough. I can go to the next one. Wow. Dressing at a double gold blank was just brutal. I'm going to resubmit the same configuration. Game three on the play versus Rakdos. Keep. Having a ley line is just so huge. We do have access to Lotus Field. It's just very slow via Wish. Play the Balagad. The only Balagad in our main deck. We do have one to get with uh, the wish if it comes to it, but I don't know why that would possibly come up. Hive of the Eye Tyrant. Ultimatum. Play the Mana Confluence past the turn. They play uh, Flip Land into Shadow. Uh, whoops. Can't cast Wish yet. Pass. They're swinging in. No blocks. Land for turn. Bone Crusher. Coming in hot with the damage, and I have a slow start. This was a good draw. Wish. Lotus Field. We'll get rid of the two mana confluence. Pass. So they can swing in for a lot here. 10 damage. This is going to put me to six. Okay, so this is a, a tough spot to be in. I can. I have to pitch the Leer next turn, I think. Wait, no, hold on. Um, copy. I could only phase out the shadow and then just go to two. Maybe that's the line. Pass. They play land number five. Ooh. So now I have to pitch the leer. 
All right, so we can allow them to declare attackers. That's free. So they get to exile my wish. Now we'll march. And I have to remove the leer, unfortunately. Sorry, this interface is very weird. I'm trying to make sure that I'm not messing this up. X can't be less than three. I removed the leer. I think I just click done now. All right, so March has phased out all their board, and now I can resolve a merge and ultimatum. But I don't have a leer in my deck. We try another ultimatum. Perfect. Um, blue, black, untap, untap. Yes, yes, no. Green, emerge an ultimatum. Okay. How do we do this? Here, for dark petition. I have to imagine they're not going to give me uh, peer into the abyss. And like I mentioned, one of the nice things about having wish is I still have access to Leer. And the opponent just concedes to save themselves some time. We're now three and one. How about that? Coming back against the black decks after a rough first round. I think that first match wasn't necessarily indicative of the matchup. We kind of just had some bad beats and that happens sometimes. But uh, let's keep our eyes on the prize and win match number five. With Card Hoarder, renting your favorite combo deck has never been easier. There isn't a more affordable solution for Magic Online. Want to play the deck in this video? Check out the pink comment below to easily rent the deck from Card Hoarder. Did you know you can rent the Epic Storm from Card Hoarder for as little as seven tickets a week? We've made it simple to do so by including a button to rent the entire deck at theepicstorm.com slash decklist. The final round, the final countdown, we're on the play. Uh, unfortunately not a keep. I don't believe this is either. We're going to five. This one's reasonable. Keep. Get rid of the Besaju and Vizier. Sanctum, pass. So we can use Scrying on turn two to go get Stage and then look at Wish to get Lotus Field. Or they're on a blue deck and maybe I should just get Lotus Field while I can. Scrying. Long pause. Yeah, I'm just going to grab the field. We can find stage later. The opponent long pauses on everything here. Land number two. We'll take a draw step. Impulse. Guess we'll take a Vizier. Play the Lotus Field. Sacrifice our two lands, and then we're going to pass the turn. We're in decent shape for a mulligan to five. I think our opponent might be on the creativity deck again. Dark Petition. We could use Petition right now to go get Stage and Copy. Untap. Take a draw. Untap again. Take another draw. Dark Petition. It resolves. Grab Stage. Play it. Copy. Just like we drew it up. Opponent with a Valakut Awakening. No one makes me bleed my own blood. Come on, you can't use my own card against me like that. They play a path. And it is indeed the creativity deck. So in theory, they could have it on their next turn. We really want a hidden strings here. That's a hidden strings. Okay. So let's play our land. That's a pretty free thing to do. Two mana. Hidden strings. So we should have enough here to go wish into... Leer, flashback strings, and then do some other stuff. Once again, wish giving you more access points to Leer is just so broken. I'm just going to say it. I think we might have solved uh, Lotus Yield with this. I, I really like the combination of wish plus Merge and Ultimatum. Main deck dispute. Oh, that's a bummer. Yeah. I mean, I. Who cares about dispute? I still believe that we might have figured it out. I played a lot of uh, Lotus Fuel combo in my life, and this list feels really good. Main deck dispute is very spicy. They discard two lands. They have six cards in hand now. If they attack, I am not blocking. Fun fact. Fire prophecy. Yeah, our leader is about to die. Rip. I have two in hand. We're still very much in this. They gain a 
treasure three in hand now draw did not need you cast impulse gladly take the pour over pages cast pour okay discard the lotus field so while i have seven mana i cannot cast immersion ultimatum or maybe i can i just won't have any mana floating which is a little weird but that might be fine blue black cycle draw green Immersion ultimatum i feel like i missed this the way that i did this i feel like i missed it earlier in the video i cast impulse looking for another main deck dispute i feel like i might have missed this and one of the first matches i was too focused on only using one lotus field that uh to cycle with vizier so now what we can do is we can grab poor hidden string so that guarantees us an untap effect and then a card that they were not willing to give us so here into the abyss they gave me peer what okay sure <laughs> you got it so we definitely want thought distortion we'll get rid of the grazers i don't know what build they are but i'm gonna board in marches at least initially hit submit we, we were not able to show off the brothers end or just brothers end in this video because we really only face black decks and then this uh creativity deck but i think that card has a lot of potential in here game number two we've opened up a delightful hand keep javon reef Botanical Sanctum, pass the turn. We play a path. What time is better than casting Sylvan Scrying and then on the second turn? It's just the best turn to play. If they counter it, they counter it. We can always bail get it back. Make disappear, yep. I hate that you have to click twice. Um, like, the Magic Online UI is just broken and you have to click no twice. It's very obnoxious. Land number three. Draw for turn. Boom! We're going to float that, play the Lotus Field, Sacrifice, Sacrifice, Cycle of Vizier, Untap Lotus Field, take a draw, Belged Recovery, get back the Sylvan Scrying, the Impulse, sure thing, Belged, pass the turn, Javon Reef, hmm. Am I supposed to just try to distort them here? I feel like the answer is yes, rather than holding open Atawara. Yes, yes, no. Black, green, thought distortion. Get distorted. Impulse again. They're on a very unique build. I, I don't, I haven't really seen a build like this yet. Like, I haven't seen Impulse, like, Impulse makes a lot of sense in this deck. Don't get me wrong. Uh, I actually like this innovation from them. But I have not seen main deck disputer impulses yet. Two mana for another impulse. So they're probably digging for creatures here. Another. Oh, okay. This is not resolving. Holebreaker horror land. All right. So they're still two lands away even after the steam vents. Wow, what a draw. That's actually bananas. That was a decent rip for ourselves scrying grab the stage play it copy field pass the turn so they're not on a combo build so you don't need to have march of swirling mist in your deck they don't have the world's fire worm combo looks like they're just a more controlling build which i don't know if i like the main deck mystical dispute and Impulse if you're going to be a more controlling build of the deck. Like, I, it just doesn't make sense to me. They have one card in hand, and we know that it's Hullbreaker Horror. Play Lear. And the opponent concedes. 4-1. So much better than that league I recorded earlier tonight. And uh, why not? Let's celebrate. Let's open up the chest, see if we get anything good. Maybe some initiative creatures that I can sell. That'd be nice. Uh, not looking so hot. Not looking so hot. Kind of a bummer. Brushland. Woo. Okay. 
Well, I mean, still a pretty sweet league. This is the list we played tonight. I think moving forward, I would consider the Oracle over Niv-Mizzet. I would still keep March. I know that you can't cast March off Ultimatum, but you can get Dark Petition and then get the March that way and make some mana in the, in the middle. And I think that's some nice added utility. So when you go down on a Niv-Mizzet, you don't necessarily need to play two Valakut Awakening. So this is only 59 cards. You could put another card in here. It could be a second Dark Petition. I don't know if that's too many tutors. I don't know if four Wish and a Dark Petition is too much or not. Or in two Dark Petition is too much or not. You could still play two Valakut Awakening. You could add a 23rd land and then play three modal cards. It's really whatever your heart desires, but it creates a flex spot in the deck. And when you don't have the Oracle, you really do have to play two Valakut Awakening, in my opinion. So, um... Let me know what you think that slot should be in the comment section down below. You could even run like a main deck path to peril if you so choose, because you can get it with Dark Partition and wipe the board against aggro decks. I played a build last week where it was a non-traditional build. It was a Seasons Past variant, but it had Dark Partition for Path to Peril in the main deck, and that was pretty sweet. So it's just something worth thinking about, but hey. We have a flex spot. Let's figure out what should go there. Thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. Have a great day and keep storming. Hey, Brian Cook here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, but also follow the social media channels down below. If you want to support this content directly, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com shop. And if you need a little bit of assistance with the Epic Storm to get to that next level, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com tutoring. Don't worry, there's more great content coming right up.